Welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a video that I filmed last year and I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed filming it, editing it and uploading it. So I thought I'd do it again and that is kind of a yearly roundup. You have to excuse me, I have a poorly puppy on my lap. Um, I'll explain about that in a minute. So yeah, I'm going to talk about the things that I've loved, the things that I've done, just my year basically. You'll have to excuse me because I am feeling very poorly, I've got a cold, so I look very rough and I didn't put any makeup on so... You have to bear with me, I'm sorry. I'll just talk about kind of some of the things that have happened that I haven't really talked about. I'm going to talk about kind of how my year started, first of all. It didn't start great, to be honest. I've been going through some stuff that I haven't talked about on here. I'm still going through it. Um, I just think I'm dealing with it better. I know I'm dealing with it better. Um, but it's still ongoing and it's still affecting me. But I just have to try and be as okay as I can, especially now because of the baby. And then obviously in May I moved out and uh, yeah this is the first time I've had my own home and I love it here. It's such a sweet little house, it's like perfect. With the baby here this house is going to be, it's going to be very small. Especially you know the first six months she's going to be in with us in here. I've put a lot of time and effort and money into decorating this house and making it as homely as possible and I love it you know it is my home and it's my safe haven and I had a couple of weeks before I moved in to decorate it and kind of get it to how I wanted it I wasn't planning on decorating it I kind of got the bug so that was in May and then in July or it was literally just after I moved in that I found out about uh, the puppies um you have to excuse me I'm very sniffly because I got cold so it was just after I moved in like the end of May that I found out about the puppies. Uh, she was born on the 27th of May. I went to go and see her. I think she was three weeks old when I went to go and see her. And then on the 27th of July, I picked up this little one. And she has made such a massive difference to my life. She, it's okay, baby girl. It's okay, darling. It's okay. Uh, next thing I was going to talk about is the baby, obviously. Two days before we picked up Dexter, um, unbeknownst to us, we conceived a child and I am now approaching my third trimester. And as I film this, it's actually New Year's Day. So I like the fact that I am going to give birth to a child this year. I am going to have a baby this year. It's like, whoa, holy shit. And I know that this period is gonna go so quickly because um, January, there's so much going on. Like next week, I've got some heart scans. I've got heart tests. The week after that, we've got midwife. Got We're having the 4D scan. Then it's the baby shower and we're going to meet Dexter's siblings. Um, and I'm so looking forward to that. Like of everything I'm so looking forward to that because we've kept in touch with her litter mates so we're going to go and meet up with them the day after that's my baby shower the weekend after that is my birthday and then like two weeks after that is March and then like I'll be like 36 weeks pregnant which is like you know it's almost full term it's something that I never thought would happen I've talked a lot about kind of how I feel about the baby especially over on my second channel Bean and Me which is kind of for all things pregnancy and baby related the next thing I'm going to talk about is something that I've touched on and it's kind of a more ne negative thing and that is financial issues. This year I have, like more than any other time, I have struggled with my money so bad. You know, I've been paying for, paying for Dexter, paying for a baby, for, paying for a house, paying for bills, petrol, food, everything. It's expensive. I kind of just started to get on top of things and then it got to be Christmas. So paying for all of Christmas was like, I've got an overdraft and hopefully by the next couple of weeks it should start to get better um but obviously I've, we've got to start buying the big baby stuff soon but it, it should be okay it's just this has been a really 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 tough time like i've been living in my overdraft i think since the end of the summer pretty much i've not had you know i've only had a few days where i've been in credit but it's just part of being a grown-up i think i've not it's not even that i've been splashing my cash on anything crazy i've bought like i can count on one hand the number of things that i've bought for myself since the end of the summer yeah paying bills is expensive and it's really annoying because all of my bills come out on the same day and it's a week that i don't get any money and it's just it's a bit bad but i'm getting on top uh, the next few things are kind of things that i've enjoyed like things that i've watched or bought and the first thing is this jumper actually this i bought this like end of november because you know as i just said i've been struggling with money and it was getting to a point where I had no, I've got no winter jumpers and the winter jumpers that I do have don't fit me because I've got a pregnant belly and I just wanted something warm and snuggly that I could wear kind of inside the house when I'm just chilling and I don't know if you can see but it's a black chenille jumper, it's from the men's section in New Look and it's 
massive and it's comfy and it fits my bump and it will fit my bump right to the end of it. And it was only, I think it was £20 and I think I had 20% off. It, like chenille and velvet are my favourite materials. And the other thing is more of a summer thing and that is a denim jacket that I got like late spring, early summer. I think I mentioned it in one of my other monthly videos. It's a denim oversized jacket from Primark and it's got like massive rips and it's just really cool. I've always wanted something like that. It's very 90s, which I love because I am a 90s child and I love all kind of things 90s. I've been eyeing one up that was like 60 pounds from ASOS, but there's no way that I could ever spend that amount or justify that amount even if I had the money. So I found this one in Primark and I was like, yes. It's nice to just like throw on over leggings and a vest, which is kind of like what I'm wearing all the time at the moment because um, I can't afford to buy like loads of maternity clothes. So I've just got some maternity leggings and some vests and I'm just kind of living in that with like an oversized shirt or this jumper or my denim jacket if it's a bit warmer. The next thing that I was going to mention is a film and that is Beauty and the Beast. Again, I mentioned this in my monthly review video in March or April. Uh, it would have been March because I know it came out in March and that was Beauty and the Beast. I absolutely love this film. It hit all the kind of nostalgic factors for me. Um, Beauty and the Beast along with Aladdin and Little Mermaid are my three of my favourite Disney films. They are my three favourite Disney films. They make me feel kind of warm and fuzzy. I just love them. I was a bit sceptical about Emma Watson as Belle because she wasn't Belle for me. Um, I was a bit unsure about her kind of singing the, like the clips that I'd heard, but I got swept away in the magic and actually I enjoyed her. She wasn't like my favourite part of the film. I loved Gaston and Le Fou, like his little sidekick. He was brilliant. And Lumiere, I thought he was brilliant as well. I went to see it twice at the cinema, which is very unheard of for me because I'm not a massive fan of going to the cinema. I am actually going to try and go to the cinema in a few days time I'm gonna to have to go on my own because I don't think Sam wants to go and see the film and it's The Greatest Showman and it looks amazing it kind of looks very Moulin Rouge-esque and yeah I just when I saw a trailer for it I was just like yes but one thing that I do want to do is have like a collection of Disney DVDs so obviously um our daughter won't be watching DVDs like straight away and film and TV and stuff straight away We've got a few years for that yet but I had all of the Disney kind of films on VHS growing up and I'd love to kind of carry that on with my daughter um unless she doesn't like disney she might not like disney uh, the last thing on my list is a bit random but it's a tv character and that is negan from the walking dead if you've if you haven't seen the walking dead it's a show that i've talked about a lot and i'm sure you know what it's about it's about zombies and the apocalypse and all of that the last few series the kind of main is it protagonist or antagonist the bad guy has been negan and the saviors and when we first met Negan, like Sam had been so excited to see Negan on screen because he reads the comics. It had been built up for me and it didn't disappoint. He is by far one of my favourite TV characters of all time. Um, I think Negan is just an amazing character. He's funny. He's likeable for a bad guy. Um, he's charismatic. And for me, like he makes The Walking Dead for me now. Like I really, there were a few episodes in the last, or the first half of the last season uh, where he wasn't in it at all. And I was just like, I got Sam a mug with Negan on it for Christmas in his stocking. Anyway, I've talked for far too long about this year. I'd love to know what your highs and lows are of this year. I mean, obviously, these were just like the main things for me, that, like the things that stand out when I think of 2017 for me. There's so much more gone on in my life that, I mean, a lot of it you know about because I talk a lot about my life online. I'm filming a video about 2018 for me and what my hopes and goals and aspirations are for it. Um, so if you kind of if that interests you then feel free to watch that thank you for watching thank you for supporting me this year last year and i hope to see you all and more of you this year for 2018 thank you and i will see you again soon bye